welcome to our little chit chat <laughs> again. <laughs> our little mini podcast series. Yeah, it's like podcast series. We have so much to talk about actually overall about all of the parenting and everything. So today we're going to discuss how our parents and family reacted to the special news, you know. Yeah. And how like sometimes you know yet again like on the internet you see how everyone are like over exaggerated with their emotions they're like nearly crying and everything not always that happens even though people like excited but in different i would say cultures yeah. or different countries it's completely different for example from america's point of view how they react into news like that and stuff they either react like super harsh or they <laughs> react super excited you know like we most of the time don't react like that, <laughs> one that or not. I don't know. I don't know how to express the emotions like this myself. Yeah, we we not like especially in Eastern Europe, people are so like calm, not uh, super emotional. Yeah, like not not over emotional. I would say like. And uh, when you watch videos on the internet, you see the those crazy reactions. And we expected the same from yeah. our family, but... Because, like, no one knew that we planned our pregnancy. Yeah. No one. No one knew, no one expected. No one expected. We were just living our lives uh, without, like, even talking about babies. You know, everyone yeah. was... It, it probably thought that we are gonna marry first, like, get married first and stuff, and only... I don't think they even expected that. No. no one expected no, they, like, they, anything special from us in a, at least a couple of years. Yeah. And uh, so which one did you tell first? Your mom. My Your mom. mom was first to yeah. know from all of the family. And I think her reaction was the best. Yeah. In my opinion, it was the best compared to like other ones. Yeah. And, it's it's close to those people who are like very emotionally reacting to news like this. So we wanted to like get her some sort of a surprise to kind of tell the news because it was her birthday upcoming once. I remember when we got the news ourselves, it was like January, pretty early at like third early, or something. Yeah, it's about or like mid middle January, something like yeah. that. And uh, Thomas' mom's birthday was uh, the end of the month, so we thought it was a great idea to like just to su have a nice surprise birthday on bir on her birthday. So we wanted to have like something special. I don't know who came up with the idea of like do the way we did. <laughs> so the way we did, I I think it was my idea. No? Yeah, I think so. I I, I don't I don't remember now. Like. <laughs> I don't remember so how it was. we went to get a echoscope to to scan the belly and yeah, to like see the sound. yeah ultrasound <laughs> that what that what it's called <laughs> and uh, for the first time we saw how large it was it was like two a bean like only like a, a dot it was yeah. only a dot like you couldn't even see the baby it was just a dot like. Is it one centimeter or? No, it was super tiny. You could barely see, like, you know. Yeah, you it was see. just a, a, like a dot, like. A... You're gonna pick, pick up it. Yeah, you're gonna post somewhere. a picture of how it looked at, at the yeah. first. And uh, we packed the present for my mom, and we put the picture. In picture it. was literally in the bottom. Yeah, I think. on the bottom. And on the, at the top, we made like a little um, timeline, you know, like uh, it was. It started from yeah it started from grandmother with my grandmother yeah uh it was like uh, she was born in like 90 i don't know like 60s or something yeah and then my mom then her his mom when was the... yeah then my mom's birthday yeah. we write in the second like one 1996 yeah. i was born yeah. and uh, then she realized where it is going to you know <laughs> yeah and it was in the end it was at 2023 in October yes no 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 it's September September. In September yeah in September there's going to be another human coming yeah. into our world you know 
And oh my god, she was well you're yeah. gonna see. You're gonna yeah. see how you can she see in the video how like her heart just dropped. Yeah, like on, you can see the on the face, face changing, yeah. you know? She you realized really, what happened there. And it was really genuinely awesome reaction. Yeah. Like So the next reaction was my, like the next person we told was my mom, right? We invited her over to have lunch. Yeah, because uh, with my mom there was a grandma and there was my brother. Yeah. So my brother already knew, I think. No, he told, no, no, no. no. It, it, oh, he it, didn't, it, it, yeah. Wait, it was only us who knew, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it, it was pretty, pretty awesome, though, to see, like, everyone's reaction. I mean, your brother didn't really react much, I guess. He didn't really realize I maybe. think he was more in shock. Yeah, he didn't yes. expect so, at because, all. Again, we didn't tell anyone that we would want or like in the near future or anything. Yeah. We didn't have any anyone expose our little plans for the future. <laughs> and your mom? I guess she got a little clue that we're gonna like say something or I don't know because you know it's not typical for us to invite. Yeah. people over for lunch or dinner yeah, like you, we don't do such things we invited your mother for a dinner yeah and and she we was, don't do this like, yeah we we never do that <laughs> and it was a sign like yeah i think she was that like we oh, have that, some news. That's, that's something <laughs> you know yeah. and plus uh, she was it, crying when i was when i invited her like for dinner she was like oh my god you know like she she literally cried in in in, in the phone i was like why are you crying like what the hell bro <laughs> Yeah, and uh, every time Greta went to doctors, she was receiving a text messages oh, yeah, to her phone. She, yeah, yeah, it was such a, you know, when I um, started going to gynecologist, I was like still not adult. So she was responsible for me and she had all notifications going to her phone once I go to the doctor. And I remember I had like a little checkup and she knew about that because it was before even I knew that I'm pregnant. It was just a checkup at the doctor's. And then uh, I remember like a week later, I found out. <laughs> 
I remember the week a week later I found out that I'm pregnant and I went again to register and she got an application and she was like why are you going again I was like oh it's probably a misunderstanding you know like I just pretended it was just it kind of got leaked from the messages yeah, and in that point so for the for more than 10 years every time you went to see the doctors she was receiving messages yeah that specific one I mean <laughs> They miss us. We're trying to talk. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Well, she pretty much like knew probably whenever I went to checkups because you go to the checkups like once, once a year, once two, a year, two, two, times, two a year. times a year, yeah, twice a year. So she's like never would have thought it about it. No, 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 no. But this time it was two times in one week. So that's what was kind of getting out yeah. of it. And we invited her and your brother. Yeah. Uh, I know that reaction was like... She was like, oh, I knew it, you know? She literally told in the video, like, yeah. we're gonna put the um, captions on under, like, because everything is in Lithuanian. But she was like, oh, I knew it, you know, like she probably like felt it once she saw the notifications in messages that I'm going to the doctor. So I guess that's what kind of not was the biggest surprise, I guess, yeah. you know. And at first, like I, I got like her a little box. I remember I told her that I'm going to get like a sewing box because she doesn't have one at home. And I was like, you know what? You never have like... Um, uh, needles you know for for like sewing at home so I'm just gonna Aww. gift her and I put like in the box a picture literally and you can see like the <laughs> the the pic picture From of ultrasound, ultrasound yeah. yeah and at first she like didn't notice I'm like can you just look a little bit deeper into the box <laughs> and then she was like oh I knew it you know and like yeah, it was it wasn't probably the biggest biggest surprise I guess For the our fathers, they both reacted like numb. Numb. Let's say yeah. numb. <laughs> you know. Men overall, they are not the biggest emotion expressors, <laughs> I would say. Like, they don't express their emotions like more women do. But yet again, they didn't, they were like, oh, oh, oh okay, <laughs> that's yeah. good, you know, that's fine. Freaking son. Uh, so, we invited my father as well. I know that you got some sort of tool for him. Yeah, I got a saw, electric saw. And uh, we printed on the, on the side uh, the gift for the best grandpa. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and he didn't... He didn't even read, he like put yeah. it off. Like he, he took it off the, the, the paper and just put it aside like it was a, some scrap or something. Yeah, yeah. I, my, my father is <laughs> as simple as you can get. And, and then for my father. And even after yeah. we told and he saw the ultrasound pictures, he was like, Urgh. and he was not thrilled. Let's say that he was not thrilled, but I know him. It like it needs time for him to, to like to process what's happening. Yeah. Also, my mom. Let's go back a little bit. She, she called me the next day, I think. Yeah. And she was like, "Oh my God, I was crying at home." Because I realized what you actually told me that I'm yeah. gonna be a grandma, you know? She needed to process that too. Yeah. So many bugs. Yeah. I think most of our family reactions were like so delayed. Yeah, later on, like. They needed time to like process what we told them. I think the same was to us too. <laughs> uh, I mean, we're you going to talk about us. <laughs> and, uh,. Let's go back to my father. So, yeah. the the thing that surprised me the most, he was like, smoking, dude. Yeah. Go 
So the thing that surprised me the most about my father, he was like, well, it's about time. Oh yeah, he said that, I yeah. remember. And I was expecting for him to be like, oh, so you need a lot of money, you need this and that, are you like, you know that father talk about yeah, that. Yeah, like practi not, practical stuff. Yeah, that practical talk that you need this and that and it's hard and, but he was like, well, yeah, it's about time you already like played a couple of years. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> Fale, fale, treta muito? Não. I think most of the people that we told, probably not our mothers, our mothers were fine. Like they didn't lecture us, yes. let's say. But like most of the people we told, they were like talking about the money issue, about the, I don't know, family, like stuff. Like the further the person is away from oh. our family, like in the connection wise, oh. yeah, yeah. the more they tips, had the, the, yeah, the more advices. Your advices they gave. and. I don't think you need those advices. No. Yeah, everyone was like, oh, you need to go to marry now. Yeah, how are you not? You, you're yeah. gonna receive child. You need a house, you need to marry, you need like shit ton of money. Yeah, you No, have, you don't. You, no, you don't. That's the thing. I mean, yeah, babies typically, they, they need stuff. But like these days, uh, back in the day, you couldn't get a second handed clothes. For example, most of the time they didn't have enough. Like, you know, like, to yeah, have like second act. 20 years ago, you couldn't get most of it. Yeah, you couldn't have diapers. Yeah, no, no diapers, no strollies, no, no. Yeah, and anything. now you can literally have second handed stuff that are completely. It's like almost free. Al almost free and almost new. Yes. Like, because babies don't really use to that point that it's broken or something, you know? We have so many new clothes that we didn't, we didn't even, even put on. Put on because they. She, like, <laughs> grow so fast. The same with the uh, uh, bathing tub. Bathing tub, yeah. Yeah, bathing tub. We got it and we used for like, what, five months? Till she started sitting and we stopped using it. And completely. even then when we used it, it was like too it was small. Too small, yeah. yeah. And it was not practical, you know? And but you actually you, you don't need a lot of money for baby. Yeah. It's you like one of them. You can use everything you have except clothes and diapers. And if you breastfeeding, you know, you don't need bottles, you don't need... It, the only thing you need is breast pump. That's that's the whole thing because it's like, you know, other stuff. We're gonna talk about things we need and what we don't later, maybe in another video. Like, Let's many people topic, think that you but, need a lot of money, you need this and that. But no. no. Mm -mm. You that's can a complete, uh, perfectly grow your baby healthy and with everything she needs. Yeah without spending thousands of dollars or yeah. euros or whatever. So then my father, we went... Yeah, your your father and your grandpa... Grandma. Grandma. Uh, I was expecting way different reaction. I really thought they're gonna be expressing a lot of emotions yeah. in happy emotions, you know? I really thought so. But it was more numb as well. Yeah, it was super numb. There was like no reaction. I think my grandma, she didn't really understood at first or something. I think she needed to process too. I, I mean, believe. she's like 85 or something, 86. Yeah, 86. She's old, but, so... but yeah, it took time for her to process too. Yeah, like a lot.
but your father at first i didn't think he was really happy about I kind, it <laughs> yeah i kind of knew and when i saw his reaction i was like yeah he's he i know what he's thinking he yeah. probably thinks he wasn't happy he probably thought that it was accidentally you know happened yeah. i think that's what he thought i think most of the people thought that except our moms to be honest maybe yeah. your father not like, but like yeah, I think most, most of, the, of people, the people, they thought that it's... Uh, thought that it was an accident because we're not in a marriage. And it's uh, kind of, a, like in Lithuania, it's very common. They still like old-fashioned, yeah. old-school Our family is old-school. And they think that you have to be married and to have children. Because otherwise, their child yeah. is like, you know... How you can grow a child without marriage? Yeah, and... like not in family because they think that family means marriage, yeah. and that's not. And we are together future. for like 13, 13 years. 13 years. So, yeah. what that marriage actually does? It just on paper. Yeah, that's the thing. Like you can be married after three months. Yeah. And it doesn't mean that you're family because so many people just get divorced afterwards so because they married. Let's so we, that's... We, 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 let's imagine we. Let's imagine we. Got married married today so from which day to start counting yeah, from zero fair. again or you no, continue no, no, from no, you continue. 13 years or so on you continue that's not... so that's the thing like a lot of people think that marriage is something makes you a family you know but it's just a paper yeah in my opinion like she still has your last name Maybe I don't, but it's just a Geta matter. Is, is waiting for her. <laughs> it's just a matter of time when we. It, it, you can get like. And there was a, there was a reasons, multiple reasons, why we didn't get married. Yeah, yeah it's not just because and we didn't was, want to. Yeah, it, and it was out of our control for like a, one year and a half. Yeah, a year and more. Yeah, we wanted to get married before uh, Ava was born. Yeah. But it was out of our control. For example, we can literally do it today, like right, right now. Like, yeah. We can go and just like elope, but... Fill some papers and just wait for a couple of weeks and then... And then be done. Yeah, but, but it's... I think I kind of, now that Ava is born, I kind of want her to be a little bit older once she's walking. And I want her to bring our wedding rings. Yes. That's kind of like a little dream. And I remember <laughs> when I was speaking about it, about this, like... Uh, once our children get older and then they can bring rings, yeah and you are we're not yeah. happy about yeah, it yeah i really wanted like i thought that it's gonna ruin the whole moment but now that i have a kid it's completely different like i think differently it's just i don't know a realization that i didn't want to get married while being pregnant that's for sure yeah like getting married while pregnant and it's, huge belly it's yeah uh, it's like i don't know it's it's, it's not better. comfortable yeah at all and also like having a belly it's like it's two things like special things in one and i think you have yeah. to be happy with one only thing like you cannot let's put through, together in this yeah same. let's go through the pregnancy and then we can literally marry like it's doesn't doesn't matter it literally doesn't matter so yeah come back to my father <laughs> he yeah I, I remember we got like um Mm, how it's called like a pie no, it's not a pie it's like a cookie pie let's say i don't know in english yeah. there's no, no such thing as name for it like a little cake yeah like a cake let's say and uh, we printed pictures like all of the, the same yeah. pictures everyone, everyone got the ultrasound picture yes everyone and we got a uh, little baby hat yes and little mittens you know like the the, the gloves and I remember he opened it and he saw them first, I think, and only then it was the picture. And his face! <laughs> I want to see that video again too, myself, yeah. you know? The way he reacted and stuff, it's just... <laughs> And there is a thing that uh, most of your yeah. side of the family, they live like 300 kilometers away. Yeah, they, they, they're uh, not they're living like in the same across city. Across Lithuania, you know? Yeah. And uh, for the 13 years, like we didn't get much time to spend together. Yeah. And there's no that connection. And most of them, they don't know me at yeah. all. Yeah, yeah, they just assume. Yeah, they have they assumptions. Just ass yeah, assumptions of me. And you can get the wrong assumptions of me. Especially Definitely. if you don't like only talk once per, per year. Yeah. So 
That's... We have, I think, because we have a different like look at life. You know, yes. we have different point of view. And you know, they we don't, think we don't do that regular stuff. circle of life. Yeah, <laughs> so. you end the school, you you go to the university, you finish yeah. university, get a degree, yeah. then you get a job, then you get like, a house, get house, get married, kids. We don't do this from A to Z plan, and most mm, of the people yeah. around us they think we are crazy. As we said, they're kind of old school and old fashioned people. So they think that that's the way the life goes. I remember my grandma. Well, we're going to get to that point, but let's let's say like my father definitely probably thought that it was a mistake or something. Yeah. Only now that like once she was born, I remember after like two months, then I think then only then he realized that there is a human. We love it and, and everything. And only then he started to like extremely taking care of her like he wanted to buy all the core kind of gift secret and yeah. all that kind of stuff you know only then so imagine only after a year pretty, yeah after a year yeah, actually yeah, yeah. then Even he visited more. us so Ava was born in the September and yeah your came before father they came before, before Christmas. Christmas for the first time this year when she was like two and a half months yeah. old I think so only then he kind of was like and now, he, I remember he told me like recently, a few months back, that he wants to give everything he can because maybe he couldn't give to me that much that he can give to Ava now, let's say. Yes. Because, you know, the limited um, opp opportunities, I think, and or all like the money-wise, you know, when you look 27 years back, like the opportunities were not as wide as it is right now. So I guess that's why also like he... And yeah, yeah, the thing is that your parents divorced when you were young and you moved yeah. across Lithuania yeah. to the other cities. So there is no such a like strong connection to your father. Yeah, that's and true. And he wants to like uh, repay his duties on the grandchild. Yeah, on the grandchild that he couldn't do to me. Yeah, so I think for the men in general, it takes time to process their own uh, like child, their own like grandchild. and. Yeah, it takes all, time to like to accept to think, yeah. yeah accept the other life you know in, in their world because they don't have to carry your especially carry, in you know. eastern europe i think the men mentality most of their parents fathers they didn't give a lot like a lot of attention to them so there's that gap i yeah. think when you see like for example yet again americans they they different you know they different people yeah. definitely they're completely so different. different and once you see european you know like fathers and overall they're especially in U eastern europe there's either like they're extremely caring yeah for but the it's parents, like super rare or they like mostly not really care like most of the job does the mom yes you know so I think that's why, that's why like it's different. Once you see in American, you know, world, they, they've been raised differently. And here it's different, you know, because probably Europe went through like much more wars and stuff compared yeah. to like American stuff. I think Maybe it's they down a lot to our history and yeah, the history how, that... how the men in general were, were raised for like generations <laughs> after generations. <laughs> Hey, Mrs. Stylish. Uh, um. So let's go to the your grandpa, grandma. Grandma. <laughs> Like the other grandma from mom's from mom's side. Yeah. So her reaction was one of the best from all yeah. of them. Also, like the, it, it was goes to your mom, it then was, probably grandma, yeah, it and was, my mom. It was natural. She was excited. Yeah, she she was expressing emotions. <laughs> yeah, I think that the older 
the people are like the more excited they get about these things in general <laughs> she definitely did not expect it yet again we don't really talk much with my side like barely you know yeah and even now that she's born like every month on the date Ava was born, my grandma always gives a call to say kind of happy birthday. Like every month on the 26th of, and you know, she just calls and, and wishes happy birthday to Ava, kind of. So I think it was definitely genuine reaction. She, she really yeah. like was happy about it, you know? Okay, so now let's go to our reaction. Oh yeah, let's, <laughs> let's talk about that. Well, my reaction, I remember I was just late. I didn't have any other side effects. I was late for like a week. I remember and I was just joking like imagine if I'm pregnant because I mean we planned. We planned our child and we expected her yeah, for a whole year. We've been year. trying for one year straight. Yeah, but I think it was uh, my hormones. After like a couple after... years, I mean after a couple months of trying to First off, I took off the pill from my uh, from my life, and I didn't know how much long how long I'm gonna have to <laughs> how long I'm gonna have to wait till I get pregnant. So we just like let it off, and we just you know every month it was as a surprise. But my hormones were completely off from the pill, and uh, that's why for a whole year we didn't. We couldn't. We couldn't get pregnant at all. <laughs> and, and then one, literally one year, because I remember I took off the pill from my, you know, life at like November, I think. Yeah. And I got conceived at December 27th. So it was literally, you know, completely one year off the pill and then, and then I got pregnant. So I was just jokingly telling Thomas that, you know, like, imagine if I'm getting pregnant, imagine if I'm pregnant right now because uh, I'm late for a whole week. And I mean, for me, it was one year and was, I was expecting like, we were worried. couple, couple tries and it's done. Yeah. Because most of the people say that it's just like that, you know, yeah, like a couple no, tries. No, 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 no. It, it takes, it takes time. many tries. Oh, and uh, I didn't tell Thomas anything. Like I kind of felt like it could be the month, you know, but I didn't have any expectation because every month it was like, oh, late couple of days, you know, maybe I'm pregnant and all that kind of stuff. And a few times I remember I did uh, uh, pregnancy tests before because it was late like a week or something, but all came negative. And the, I... the thing about pregnancy tests, man, it's so weird to like go and buy them. <laughs> really? Yes, especially for the men, you know. Oh, the men, yeah. Because I bought, I think, like most of the pregnancy tests. Yeah, most of them. Yeah, I went to the. I mean, you offered. <laughs> yeah, I offered to go and buy it, and I went to the how it's called. Pharmacy. Pharmacy shop, yeah, and uh, I bought like a couple of them, and was like, it's going to be like positive. Nope. So after like one year, I didn't even think about it anymore. Yeah. I was just ah, and not I remember pregnant, not that's... pregnant, and just yeah. And I was not expecting at all. But that time, because I remember there was like seven pregnancy tests, and all of them were negative. Yeah. And I remember then, I didn't tell you anything because I was late for like 13 days. Yes. It was nearly two weeks. I was like, okay, that's unusual. You know, that's definitely unusual. It's not. You know, it's, it's it's different from the other times. And I didn't say a thing. I remember I went to the pharmacy. We live super close to it. So I got three tests. First test I did, it was negative. I was like, well, negative, negative, you know? <laughs> and then I left it. I don't know why I didn't throw it away. I have no clue. And then I come back and there's a faint line. I was like, okay, <laughs> maybe it's, you know, false. It could be. Sometimes they say that after some time you shouldn't check the test because it could be, you know, false anyway. And I was like, okay, I grabbed another one after the day after tomorrow from the time I took the test. I did it again. 
there's like tiny faint line, but yet again, it's completely like blank. Well, I'm super excited. <laughs> I didn't tell a thing. I was just joking, kind of, see, I remember. Okay, so I just did the test and this one immediately showed um, that it's two lines. And this one is also showing up as two lines. I don't know if you will be able to see it. It's really faint on this one, but it's just, just developing. So I need to wait for like, um, I don't know, three minutes or something. It's really emotional for some reason. But I'm 100% pregnant. 100%. They both show the lines, especially this one. This one is very, very obviously truth. It's been a year. It's been a year to, um, for us trying to get a baby and Actually, it's been a complete year, like a whole year, like this is probably a complete year of trying a baby and this month, apparently a surprise for us. We actually been even like not even thinking about it too much because we used to talk every month like about getting a baby and everything and how like we wish it would be every month. Well, I think we have it <laughs> just now. Everything has to go to process. Everything's gonna be fine. And now we just need yeah, to wait, I guess, and see how baby's growing. And I took that test. I was like, oh, okay. And I was like telling her, when you do the test, film it. And she didn't do, and she didn't film my reaction. The thing is, you have no idea what's going through your through my head. Like, you know, for people who film everyday life, it's kind of common for them. For me, it was a shock already because I couldn't believe that. First off, I, I couldn't believe what I'm doing, you know, like it was just kind of like a typical thing when we do the test. And I saw the lines like kind of pretty, you know, visible. I was like, ooh, okay, that's quite real. And then I remember, I think I went to the store to grab like uh, a body suit for baby for your, you know, reaction and stuff to tell you. And I just like, <laughs> and then we got back from Lake House that day. Yes. And you were cleaning uh, car key because it was washed in the washing machine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, yes. And you cleaned it to like start working again. And I literally just came and handled Ooh. the bodysuit and, and it in was the, wrapped in inside the, oh, yeah. the test. And they were like, go take it. I'm like, I just oh, yeah, did. Uh, yes. <laughs> she gave me tests and I was like, okay, Ooh. there's a couple more tests. And, and I didn't check that it was already like Done. positive. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, go take it then. Let's see. And, and like, then I saw bad. that it was positive. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty random, so I didn't expect it at all. Uh, so, what was my reaction from your side? From my side, at first he was looking at it, and I, I, I don't know what he's thinking. Like, the whole... I, I couldn't even read your face because it was so... I don't know, neutral at first? Yeah, it was empty as well. He was hell. like looking and trying to process, you know, what the hell did I just handle him? But then... I saw you like dropping on the on the bed and I see the tears coming and I literally just like my heart <laughs> my heart melted in that same moment I was like okay that's good that's good <laughs> because I was like what is going on you're not happy you know because it was literally blank for like a minute you know he was looking at like I don't know what was going through your head oh, man and then I saw the tears and it was like you know it was super awesome actually super awesome you know, I, I knew that you wanted it. Like I knew that you wanted the, 
the child. Oh, I wanted like... for like two years, but like I had to like talk through <laughs> yeah. with that and like prove it that I want the kid and. Yeah, that's true. I mean, now I wanted I more. That... I wanted kid more than you. You know why I didn't want because probably got in my head that you know kids need a lot of money. Uh, we don't have our own apartment. You know, we. That's probably what was throwing going through my head because people were talking how kids are so expensive. You know, so I guess that's why. And it's a biggest lie ever. Yeah, biggest lie ever because you don't need much stuff. <laughs> So I guess that's what, but All now, kids need are... Diapers. Diapers. And clothes. Uh, Some clothes. Yeah, but like uh, attention time and just being with them. Yeah. And just... You don't need crib. You can live without stroller. People actually gifting strollers these days. If you don't have money. Like, there's so much solutions. It's, it's just, I don't know, nonsense. When people say you need a lot of money. How much money do you think we spend on Neva a month? A month, like with diapers and stuff? With everything. Like with everything, we spent a lot. Like with the stroller, with the things we bought that but was kind of necessary. But it's like in total, in total I think... 2000. 2000? 2000 and a half maybe. Because but like, you can get, I think, everything you need in like 3000 euros. Definitely. But it's it like, it splits, you don't need everything at once. Yeah. It splits and... For example, we chose to co-sleep, so crib was unnecessary. Yeah, we built it, but it's... She's only now starting to sleep in yeah. it. Yeah, kind of, because we connected with our bed. So yeah. she sleeps in it now and then. Uh, but overall... But you know, monthly, without all the big purchases... You need... It's... I don't... Maybe 100 euros? I think so, 100. I think it's I mean, e diapers for a month is around 40 euros. Yeah, so 40, some clothes and some food. So maybe 150. If you're maximum. breastfeeding, you don't need yeah, anything if for like six months, definitely. Six months, you don't need a thing. Now that she eats like solids, solids and uh, she's oh, oh. about to start walking. So it's a little bit different now. Yeah. But yet again, you make food the same way like we do. It's Just not expensive. Yeah, it's not expensive at all. So, yeah. so kids don't need money much. <laughs> so, yeah. So our rea I I'm super sad that we didn't, you know, film. But I'm happy that I made a scrapbook for her from the very first day. I kind of documented everything, what I eat, how I feel, uh, doctor appointments, what we talked about how, I don't know, what everything happened, what did I do, weirdly, cravings, all that kind of stuff. I have a whole book that I still kind of write every month about her. So that's, at least I did that, you know? <laughs> at least I did that and I'm super happy about it. Ah! <laughs> but definitely for the next <laughs> child, spoiler alert, <laughs> for the next child. But we are not pregnant yet. No, no, no. So for the next show, we're definitely gonna film reactions for us. Yeah, for because yet again, it's gonna be different. Yep. You know, even though you know they say that the first child is the biggest reaction, I don't think so because every child is different. For me, it, it took time. time for me, it took time like to process it as well because I, it was I was waiting for it to happen, but it was kind of unexpected as well because it was like one year of waiting and. Uh, Oh, that three in the, in the morning. <laughs> I didn't finish. I didn't cry. You did cry. Uh, there's I, a video. Yeah, but three in the morning oh. when the, that one happened, I didn't cry. I was just like jumping in the toilet. <laughs> in the room, I just, yay! <laughs> you know, that was my reaction, definitely. At okay. first, I was like looking at it to make sure, but then I started jumping and I was like, okay, now I need to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> That, that was the, the thing. But then, I remember I took that video when I went to the doctor. Oh, and it and she confirmed. And she said, because at first, the first time when I went to the doctor, she could barely see anything in my uterus. Oh. She couldn't see, and she was like, you know, now you have to wait for a week, and then we're gonna scan again. 
and then we see if you're actually pregnant. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I need to do another pregnancy test because she made questions in my head, you know, because yet again, you can have false pregnancy tests. And I did it and then immediately the line, like it was immediately coming. <laughs> and she immediately, like it, it was showing off and then I understood that I'm actually pregnant. So the next uh, is going to be about the whole nine months, how we, uh, from both point of view, because it's so different. And there's still more about the birth, after birth, and so on. The birth, it's so crazy. Well, like, it's gonna be pretty long video, I think. This one was is probably gonna be quite a yeah. bit. So about the birth, there's a lot of things to talk from both points of view. I, yeah. Giving birth is this crazy experience. It is the for more both. I think, I think, I think more like when more time passes, it's getting more and more like. Oop. I think it's for both because we have different view, you know, different view for cuckoo, <laughs> different view for both. For me and and him, it's he sees one thing, I see another thing, I feel another thing that he feels. Yeah. And when they say, oh, it's only woman gives birth. No, if a man actually um attends the birth and i attended like big time <laughs> so yeah we're gonna have to talk about it like there's a lot of th th things yeah. to talk about there's birth an entire video about giving birth and yeah. what you should expect and uh, because the reality is so different from the movies yeah it's, because the woman so gives different. birth and she's full glam with the makeup and she's you know yeah. pretty and beautiful the reality of giving uh -uh. birth it's so different from the movies yeah so yeah, I think it's a, it's a wrap for this time. Yeah, it's time. Well, she's telling us that yeah. it's time to it's finish. It's time to wrap up. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, she's like, mom, dad. It's enough of, of podcasting. Let's yeah, go. it's enough. It's time to do some driving. Zoom, 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 and zoom, zoom. Eating. Zoom. <laughs> yeah, so that's it about the talk. It was... Bye. 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 Bye.